Dragon Market has two to four players manipulating boats to collect treasures for the princess's wedding. Blue Orange Games provided this copy in exchange for an honest review. FYI, this isn't the final cover art. Take turns placing all boats. Boats cannot cover a corner or a pontoon. Boats with metal sailors cannot be placed on an edge. There are 40 merchandise tokens, 20 pairs. Two random pairs go on each boat. The first player takes the dice, player two takes one coin, player three takes two, and so on. There are blue basic objective cards as well as red advanced ones. You will only use one set in a game. Each player will be given one basic objective card. This is kept face up. In the advanced game, you're dealt two cards. Choose one, look at it secretly, and discard the other. Once you've collected all the merchandise, return to your pontoon to trade in the tokens. In the basic game, the winner is the first to have completed two cards. In the advanced game, the winner is the first to have completed three cards. See those icons at the bottom? Those are special abilities gained after completing that advanced objective card. On your turn, you'll roll the dice to gain 6, 7, or 8 movement points. You may use those coins I mentioned earlier to gain additional movement points. No more than 2 coins can be used per turn. To gain additional coins, simply end your turn before using up all of your rolled movement points. For example, if you rolled a 6 but only moved 4, take 2 coins. So how do you move? Your pawn can move orthogonally, forward, backward, left, and or right. Boats rotate on a 90 degree angle depending on where the sailor is. If the sailor's in the middle, boats can turn in a cross pattern. If the sailor is in an end, boats can turn in an L shape. Boats cannot turn if they'll go off the board or collide with another boat or pontoon. You automatically collect merchandise either by passing over a token or ending on one. You cannot pick up an item that is not on your card. You also cannot move over sailors. You can pass through another player, although you can't finish your turn in the same space. Roll dice, move boats, and use your pawn to collect the items shown on your cards. That's Dragon Market. There's no reading or math in Dragon Market, just a whole bunch of illustrations and, in the advanced game, abilities that are explained in the back of the rulebook. Experienced 7 or 8 year old gamers should be fine, and 6 year olds could probably handle the basic game. Setup is part of the game, and takedown is quick. Expect plays to last around 35 to 40 minutes, meaning it's a weeknight game. Four might be able to play on a large coffee table as long as you have space to roll since most of the space is just the central board. Play areas are tiny and game bits can be kept in the box. In our third game of Dragon Market, Dad finished a card quickly, then I did as well. Mom got herself stuck, but escaped and finished her first card. Dad finished his second card and was close to finishing his third when I finished my second. Our battle kept putting Mom in a bad position. Actually, she did that on her own. Anyhow, I was one item away from finishing my third card. Mom was stuck in the corner again. Dad made it back to his pontoon for the win. It was really exciting. Dragon Market offers a surprising amount of brain burn. There's more of a puzzle here than I expected. I like that. It's especially fun to see Mom get stuck each game. You need to plan, or else you'll be like her. The insert is excellent, the pawns are easy to manipulate, and the art is cute. I wish the boats had lips so that the tokens didn't slide off so easily when moving them. The pontoons have symbols for colorblind people? Why aren't those symbols on the pawns? That seems like a mistake. I prefer the advanced variant. Even though you need to complete an additional objective, the abilities are super powerful. I also think they make the games quicker because you have this game breaking, but not in a bad way, power. Unless you're playing with very young kids, I recommend using them all the time. 
I wish that there were more cards. After a few plays, it's too easy to realize what another player is going for. Dragon Market caught me off guard. I thought it was going to be this cute little family game that was good, but too easy and light. Instead, this is a fairly quick set collection race to see who can manipulate a constantly moving puzzle in order to maximize every turn, yet it's still easily accessible for families.